the pride of the Czech Republic, dare I say, the samurai from the Czech Republic, the one and only Yuri Prochaska. There he is. Hello, Yuri, my friend. How are you? Hello, everyone. Hi, Ariel. It's nice to speak to you. On the streets, where are we? On the streets of Prague right now? Where is this? Uh, on the streets of Brno, my city. Okay. Second biggest city in the Czech Republic. So there I am. Tomorrow I'm going to Prague. So. Okay. Yes, I should have known that. That is that is where you're from. So um, it's great to talk to you. It's great to, to have you here. And congratulations on the win. Uh, we're a few days mm-hmm. removed from the uh, fight on Saturday, UFC 300. How do you feel about the fight? Because obviously initially it was looking a little bit scary there for you. And then you came back with the great comeback. So how are you feeling about what you did on Saturday? Man, I feel great. I feel really great that uh, that I mission was successful, and uh, especially this fight was for me. Uh, I don't want to say like personal, but it was it was for me uh, something something really important important because all that preparation. After the fight in uh, after the fight in uh, in New York, uh, it was for me uh, a big fight. So maybe that's why I took that like so seriously, and I was so much focused for for targets targeted uh, the head of uh, or important places of uh, Alexander's body. So maybe that's why I catched a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of punches, and I forgot to 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 play more, to be more relaxed. So that's why. And and so I'm wondering. You said it wasn't personal, but it was very important. Because I was just going to ask you, was this personal because of maybe your history with Alexander and because of things that were said? At 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 any point, did it feel personal, different than some of your other fights? Like you mean uh, because of his his uh, trash talk or yeah. his his yeah uh, no 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 it was not because of that but uh, just because one reason because of the New York New York's fight with Pereira after that one I felt like man this next fight I have to I have to give everything in. In a preparation, in a time before the fight, so I was like too much intense, and now I, now I, I'm calm and uh, I feel everything is on the right way. Is is that good? Like in 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 another fight, in another situation, should you or do you want to be less intense to put less? pressure on yourself in a situation like this or do you need that in order to perform at your best i don't need to like too much pressure on myself but uh especially this one maybe these uh some talking from from alexander uh help helps to to be more in that focus but uh the most important for me was to win this fight and uh, show that that's the my place, that's the my space in the cage. And uh, no matter what you what you want to do, your your punches. I don't want to say are nothing for me, but uh, I know how to catch a punches, and I know how to how to go through, like totally, totally through the opponent. So after New York. After the prayer fight, was there any moment, you know, we spoke a couple of times, but I'm just wondering now that it's over, was there any moment where you doubted yourself, where you wondered if you can get back to your old self, if, uh, you know, you'd, you'd be able to get back on the winning track? Did you ever have moments where you were questioning your skills and yourself as a fighter? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that was, that was because every time, every fight is showing not just me showing all the fighters how we're living how we uh, uh doing our preparations how we living our way in a, in a life 
So every fight is for me like the the mirror of of my life. Yeah, and uh, because especially when you when you are when you giving everything in every fight, in every training, then you then you live good life. Um, I spoke to one of your managers, Tim, Tim Simpson last week before the fight, yeah. he was on my show and, oh. and it was a lovely conversation. And, and he mentioned that you, uh, you had to deal with a lot of things going into New York, staff infection, all kinds of stuff, issues that you really weren't yeah. healthy at all. And so I'm yeah. wondering if you ever regretted taking the fight. If you ever had a moment where you were like, ah, I, sh I shouldn't have done that. That was not smart. Never, never regret, never regret. And uh, I took that because, uh, because the main event fall down, John Jones versus uh, Miocic. So I felt like this is my time, no matter what's happened uh, right now. Okay, I'm just with uh, one arm. I have staff infection. Uh, there was much more problems, antibiotics and... Uh, a lot of things around and uh so i said to myself let's go through let's go through that give everything to 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 the fight and uh still in every every time believe 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 that's that's it that's all but next time in that case like i said to myself many times <laughs> i want to be more professional in the in that so so I want to give I want to give everything and uh so that's that mean I need to be healthy for 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 every fight. And and how were you going into this one? Into this one? Healthy. Okay, good. Healthy. Uh, of course there is uh every time like because we are we we, we training by fighting each other yeah yeah, yeah so there, there is there is every time every time something but uh this time i felt i felt good mm -hmm. because i i was very uh strict to to be and everybody in my team that was the first thing in all the preparations to be to be healthy to be healthy and full power strong. Did you allow yourself to enjoy being a part of such a historic card? Did you did you take it all in, or were you so focused that it didn't matter what was going on? You weren't paying attention to it. Uh, in the, on the start of preparation, I didn't realize that how big it can be this uh, this card. But when uh, when it when it uh, when it was closer and closer that fight fight night even <laughs> i felt like so many people uh there is a much much bigger uh much bigger focus than other events yeah so i felt like it's it's look like it to be it can be a really important night so i really appreciate it doesn't matter for me, it was no matter if I'm on the main card or on the prelims, because every fight, every of of that fight uh, from that event uh, should be uh, should be the main event of of some of some uh, fight night. And 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 what about this video that we saw on Saturday morning where a fan saw you outside the arena? <laughs> this is an incredible video, and especially the yeah. commentary. Did you see this video of of the fan and he's yeah. he's uh, he's afraid to go up to you like you're a lion in 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 the zoo or something like that? So could I ask what were you doing? Like what time did you go there and why did you go there? Uh, I think it was it was a night time, and. Uh, I'm doing that every every night. If you if you're working with uh, like with uh, visualization, with your higher yourself, and uh, with the most beautiful idea of your life, the vision. So then, uh, then and when you are open to follow that idea. Because sometimes it's uh, it's not easy, but 
we all we 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 doing that we doing that uh we do that like uh harder and harder sometimes to ourselves so that's the like uh law of it it have a name it it have the name uh, like law of uh percep- no attraction percep- how attraction yeah yes. that's the right word thank you that's that's it and when i when i started to do, i started to do that on my high school when i was 17 year old and this technique uh it's just about ourselves about every people on this planet to to have a focus for that because when you keep when you use this your ability to 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 do this uh beautiful work then is then you then you realize so there is no limits really there is there is no limits everything what's what you can imagine it's that's your that's something what's uh, what is connected when it's connected with you and when you feel you are on the same vibe that's uh that's beautiful way then so every night that you were in las vegas at night you you would go there to the arena it wasn't just friday yeah every night and and did people come up to you did they recognize you uh many times i just took a cab and ah, uh, nice and uh to, to be to be to be in a secret and how long are you there for <laughs> it's no uh, listen it's no matter the place the yeah. place is no matter i i just uh went there because i wanted to to feel to feel a wipe of the arena yeah i was in the arena more than five times so i know the know the space inside and and but that's something what i'm doing like uh like ritual i love it so yeah it's very unique you don't see a lot of fighters doing this Sure. It's. <laughs> I think I'm. I'm not. Uh, I'm uh, not. Uh, like. It seems like it's unique, but when you really follow the your way, your connection with your with your uh, with your gut. So then. Then you will see what's what's your way, and you, then your mind will be more calm, like uh, peaceful, and uh, then there is no fear. Then is just there is just the pure belief, and you will just follow the way. That's all. Uh, and c- could I ask, are do you consider yourself a religious person? Uh, one more time, please. Do you consider? Sorry? Are are you a religious person? Are you religious? Sure. Yeah, that's 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 my religion. That's my regi- religion, and all the all the reg- religions. Uh, you you can find this uh, this uh, talking about about that in in, in every re- religion. So so there is a. <laughs> I still respect all the religion but you can when you really understand how this world working was the matter then you will step outside from these uh uh trying to be uh richer or uh, bigger or better than than whoever you will just follow the, your way to be happy to live fully. That's all. I love it. Um, as far as the fight is concerned, going into the second round, how are you feeling in between the first and the second, considering his first round? Were, were you starting to get nervous? Question, did you realize, okay, I have to do something dramatic? What are you thinking going into the second mm-hmm. round? Uh, before the end of the first round, I started, I started to feel calmer because... 
uh, I realized how to find a way to to catch him. So that that was uh, the pause, the the break between the rounds was for me like uh, really. Um, I get more peaceful, more self confident, and uh, and I started to uh-huh. I started to be to be ready to be ready to 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 end end the fight okay and and um when you when you did win when you tasted victory again did it feel like a weight was lifted off your shoulders you know after new york and everything like how would you describe what that feeling felt like to get the stoppage yes that's 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 right i uh i felt like <laughs> that fight i put it on the on the like on the too much one side like pure aggression pure hunt pure uh following just one target pure violence and i totally like forgot to be uh in the mastery to be more technical to work more and to to do more setups so uh, after that i felt like I need to I need to work more on that but yes how you said how you said I I felt uh really like like yeah weight lifted it relief. Fell down. Yeah. yeah relief yeah um were you disappointed I thought for sure you were going to get a bonus um fight of the night bonus were you disappointed that you didn't get that one <laughs> man it's not about the money. It's about the performance. Yeah, and the money will come with performance, and that's all what I can say. Yeah, but you did get you did get one of the bonuses, right? Yeah, yeah. That that must be nice, though. You know. <laughs> yeah, Extra. sure. Yeah, everyone wanted that. Um, w- w- the 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 samurai comment. To me, can I ask what does it mean to you to be a samurai? Like, what does that mean? Because maybe people don't understand, and that's why they try to say this. So, what does it mean for you to be a samurai? Thank you for that question. Thank you for that question. For me, to be a samurai, that for me is uh, is uh, about the altitude, what you have in in your life, about the paradigm paradigm in uh, in your life, how to see some situation. And sometimes you don't need to be samurai because this uh, uh, this attitude, this role, is not effective effective in every kind, every piece of your life. Yeah. So that's why I'm uh, not just using that for fight, but. Uh, we, like I said many times, we all need to follow something. We need to uh, understand our lives, like our brain, our mind needs to understand our our lives and what we're doing, why we are doing that by some uh, theory, by some ideas. And uh, these ideas about Bushido moral code helped me to be honest, honest to to the way what I what I uh, what I'm following, and uh, that's all. That's all. You have to be just. You have to find just something what resonates with you, and samurai ideas resonates with me. There is there there is. In the world, there is not just samurais, but there is uh, honor warriors like uh, knights. Yeah, like, uh, but everywhere there is uh, some rules. And I respect these rules because it helped me in uh, really dark moments of my life to overcome these moments and be stronger, be more human. And be uh, 
like live fully, like totally fully, without fears, without any like trying to be uh, like to think to be better than someone or trying to be uh, richer than someone. No, like no thinking because that's mean. That's fear. That's <laughs> that's just. There is no place for these things and for the fa- like a uh, false for for something was not true. Yeah, and that's that's why it helped me to be to live fully. And I'm I can I never I don't know what how to how what's what's to give to my coach to 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 pay him for these lessons mm. especially for for that book and uh because um that's something what resonates me in me so deeply that i can't uh i can't fight or do this show whatever without speaking about that without to know to give to let them know the people about these things because i think these especially in this age there is uh, too many people who's just uh, uh, trying to understand their life trying to understand why to uh, wake up and find some way and that gave me the meaning in my life i saw a video yesterday of you outside um, the video that you posted where you're, you're shirtless outside. What do you do? It looks like you're in the woods. What are you doing there? Yeah, this is my training place. And uh, I had a training there, my morning training. So that's from that. All right, back at it. Uh, were you surprised that Alex knocked out Jamal in the first round? Ooh, I have to say, beautiful work. Like really, really beautiful work. And uh, that's all I have to say. That's all I can say because it was really, really nice work. Uh, but were were you surprised? Like, did you uh, think that was going to happen? A little bit, a little bit. But uh, I thought like Jamal uh, can show more. He can, he should he should show more more action because everybody knows he's uh, when he when uh, Pereira keeping the pressure it's it's a it's a lot of it's a big problem same as me <laughs> and, uh, when he's under the pressure then uh, then then it's much much like everything going on your way the best way do you do you uh do you agree there are some people i've seen them say that they like the idea of you fighting jamal next do you like this idea or do you like another idea for you next i'm like i like to fight for the title especially after that decision in uh in new york after that i uh when i'm taking the fact I won the won the fight last Saturday. That's the only thing what I what I just feel right now to be because I feel that that uh, maybe my uh, performance last Saturday was just like uh, like get getting uh getting uh, punching get, yeah to to accept the punches and this will not work with Pereira mm. but people have to understand that's I know how to make a fight with uh with this fighter I will fight like another one and with another fighter I can fight like uh, another another man so Do do you That's think it. do you think that will happen? Do you think your 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 next fight will be for the belt? Have have you or your management talked to the UFC about this? 
that's what what I'm working. What's my management working on? Okay. Are you confident? I am. Okay. Amazing. Um, and when, if it was up to you, when would you like to return? When would you like to fight again? When, uh, when it will be happen, or what? You, what you ask? Yeah. Or no. When would you like to fight again? Uh, <laughs> as soon as possible. If that will be for for title with Alex, I am open to to take a date in uh, in Brazil. Like in two weeks? In like yeah, like in two weeks. Wow! And uh, if there will be another date, let's let's see that. Okay, so you're that willing? I, I understand he broke his toe in the fight and had a broken toe going in, so I don't think he's going to fight yeah. in Brazil. But that. But but if they did call you, you would do it in two weeks. You would have no problem. Yes. Wow. Okay. That's pretty big because most people would want a full training camp before their you know their next title fight. I had a full training camp before this fight, and this can training camp was much more uh, for me. It was like I had <laughs> I trained. <laughs> Much more than uh, for 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 fights with Pereira. For Pereira, I tried just just almost just six days or one week. Wow, because, that's crazy. Because yeah, because there was a lot of a lot of struggles and and all these stuff infections and antibiotics and doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. No, I understand. And by the way, I think I saw you. Were you at the barber? Did you did you go to the barber uh, before, after the fight? The hair's still there, right? All good. I can't see because it's sure. dark. Okay. Oh, it's still there. Okay. It's everything. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't. Did you even cut it? Did you? Did you make it shorter? No, no, no. no. Okay. It's. I think if if it's, it's working. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. It's my antenna. Yes. Yes. I Get love the it. Best, best oh. Wi-Fi. <laughs> well, uh, congratulations on the win, Yuri. It's always so great. I I really enjoy. Any time that you're on, because uh, you're so insightful and 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 honest and authentic and spiritual and uh, thoughtful, it's it's really a pleasure. So very very happy for you. Congratulations. Welcome back to the the winning side, and I'm looking forward to what is next for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, and uh, I'm really appreciate your question. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it very much. Hey, if you like this video, give us the old thumbs up. Subscribe as well. You can get many more of these videos on the channel. So please do that. We would love you forever if you did so.